HMS Agamemnon is the sixth of the astute class nuclear-powered fleet submarines. Together with her sister vessels, she will be one of the most advanced submarines ever constructed. HMS Agamemnon is still under construction, but once completed she will carry out a number of important roles, from covert surveillance to tactical strike. Her weaponry will include the Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes and the fearsome Tomahawk Block 4 land attack missile, which has a range of 1,000 miles. Named for the ancient Greek king Agamemnon, this astute class attack nuclear-powered submarine will more than live up to her legendary namesake. The keel for the 6th astute class submarine has been laid on the same day the Ministry of Defense declared HMS Astute and HMS Ambush have been handed over to the Royal Navy. Mr. Philip Dunn, the Minister for Defense Equipment, Support and Technology, used the event at BAE Systems site in Barrow in Furness to announce the first and second submarines in the Astute class have now been officially handed over to the Royal Navy. Mr. Philip Dunn joined guests from BAE Systems, Royal Navy, Ministry of Defense and local community for a ceremony at the home of United Kingdom Nuclear Submarine Building, where he officially laid the keel for HMS Agamemnon. Mr. Philip Dunn, said, the keel laying of the 6th submarine, HMS Agamemnon, and the handover of HMS Astute and HMS Ambush to the Royal Navy are huge milestones reflecting significant progress in the program. The ceremony marks the start of the transition from preparation and fabrication to construction for HMS Agamemnon. Mr. John Hudson, Managing Director for BAE Systems Maritime Submarines, said, This is a very important milestone for the program and as we mark the first step in one submarine construction, we also acknowledge the importance of HMS Astute and HMS Ambush being handed over to the Royal Navy. These are highly effective submarines, engineered and built to provide the Royal Navy with unrivaled underwater capability. While HMS Agamemnon has some way to go before it joins HMS Astute and HMS Ambush it will one day form part of a formidable class of submarines. In reaching this stage I'd like to pay tribute to the highly specialist engineering and manufacturing skill base we have at BAE Systems, and in the submarine enterprise and across our supply chain. Mr. Philip Dunn also used the keel laying ceremony to announce the signing of a contract between the Ministry of Defense and BAE Systems. The eight-year foundation contract underpins an existing arrangement between the Ministry of Defense and Industry, known as the Submarine Enterprise Performance Program. The aim of Submarine Enterprise Performance Program is to improve performance, reduce costs and develop a sustainable submarine enterprise, delivering overall program savings of £900 million, of which BAE Systems' target is £386 million. HMS Agamemnon, she will use number S124, is the United Kingdom nuclear-powered attack submarine, HMS Agamemnon is the sixth vessel born from the astute class of nuclear-powered submarines serving the modern British Royal Navy. The astute class originated from a Royal Navy initiative to replace the Cold War-era Trafalgar-class submarines which began service in 1983. The astute class is naturally led by HMS Astute who formally began Royal Navy service in 2010. The submarines in the Astute class include HMS Ambush, HMS Artful, HMS Audacious, HMS Anson and HMS Agamemnon and will be completed with the arrival of HMS Ajax sometime in 2024 for a total of seven submarines. HMS Agamemnon was ordered in March of 2010. She is currently under active construction by BAE Systems Submarine Solutions with an expected commissioning date set for sometime in 2022. HMS Agamemnon total displacement at 7,800 tons, feature total length of 97 meters, and total speed at 30 plus knots, her full crew complement will number 98 officers and enlisted personnel with additional room aboard to carry mission specialists or guests. Her sensors and processing systems are made up of a collection of advanced suites to include a Thales 2076 sonar, the Atlas DESO 25 series, Echo Sounder, active sonar system, twin Thales CM010 optronic periscope type masts on the sail and a Raytheon developed successor identification, friend or foe command and control unit. Music 
As a nuclear-powered attack submarine, HMS Agamemnon is given a Rolls-Royce brand PWR-2 series nuclear reactor that allows for near-infinite underwater endurance. HMS Agamemnon nuclear reactor will not need to be refueled during the submarine's 25-year service. Since the submarine can purify water and air, she will be able to circumnavigate the planet without resurfacing. The main limit is that the submarine will only be able to carry three months supply of food for 98 offices and ratings. The propulsion system will also include MTU diesel generators developing 600 kilowatts of additional available power. The configuration will grant HMS Agamemnon a maximum ocean going speed of 30 plus knots in ideal conditions. With her attack categorization, HMS Agamemnon is appropriately outfitted with 533mm torpedo tubes to counter undersea and surface threats. The vessel will fire the BAE systems Spearfish Wire Guided Torpedo, a weapon introduced into Royal Navy service in 1992, features a 30 nautical mile range and carries a 660 pounds warhead through an autonomous active terminal homing sonar guidance kit. The six launch tubes are seated in two sets of three, each at the lower sides of the front hull. The vessel will also support the carrying and launching of the American Raven BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile Block 4 against land-based targets is required. Tomahawk Block 4 represents an improved version of the original BGM-109C attack missile featuring the unitary warhead. In addition to her obvious use in attacking enemy warships at sea or infrastructure on land. Externally, the Astute class carries a distinct and impressive profile with a broad, sloped nose completing a faceted bow. The hull remains the classic tubular submarine shape. Dive planes are fitted forward of the sail and near the upper edges of the hull. The sail is affixed near midships in its elongated form and is home to various retractable optical and sensor systems. The stern is detailed with a cruciform fin arrangement as well as a single propeller assembly shrouded in a noise-reducing cover. HMS Agamemnon will also serve British Special Forces elements is called. Cool.